Welcome to Spanish Learn It. Today we will be going over the 13 tricky Spanish consonants. Se, he, r, b, v, e, y, s, z, h, j, n, r, r. R, r isn't necessarily a consonant. Sometimes it's included, sometimes it's not. But for right now, it is. Se. When se is followed by an a, o, u, it makes the English k sound, as in kiss. Carne, meat. Comida, food. Gual means which. Which. And meat, as in that kind of meat. Se is weak when it's followed by an e or an e. Cebolla, onion, cinco, five. He is strong when it's followed by an a, o, u, just like with se. He makes the English g sound as in go. Ganar means to win. Gobierno means government. Guantes means gloves. He is weak and makes the H sound as in hen, he, when it is followed by an e or an i. Gerente means manager. Girar, girar means to turn. R, R, R. When it is the first letter in a word, it is strong and it makes a rolled R sound. Resumen, resumen, summary. Resumen means summary. And it is weak when it's not the first letter. And it makes a double D sound, as in the English word ladder. Tarea, tarea, tarea. Practice that a few times. You'll, you'll get it down. Tarea, which means homework. These letters sound the same, which is great, but it is not great when we have to, when we have to spell. That is the only time these can mess you up when you are spelling. Be and uve sort of make the b sound or uve sound if you will buscar buscar means to search volver volver means to return lluvia yeso ella and y both make the y sound lluvia rain yeso means plaster s and z both make sort of the s sound if you will Saludas, zapatillas. Saludas are greetings. Zapatillas are sneakers. The Z sort of makes more of the S sound as opposed to the S making the Z sound. So it's not saludas, it's saludas, zapatillas. These letters are simply unique. H, always silent. Why, why not? H makes no sound. Iso, iso means did. The J makes the H sound, what the H should sound like. Julio. Julio means July. Enye. Think of the English word canyon. Nye. 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 Muñeca. Muñeca means doll. R. R is very important. Be sure to really practice your rolled R's. For instance, caro, if you remember, Caro is going to make the double D sound, as in the English word ladder. Caro means expensive. Carro, carro, carro is a car. So be sure you're rolling your R's. To be safe, just overemphasize the R. Caro, expensive. Carro, ro is a car. Tarro, tarro, tarro. And that means jar. That's been the 13 tricky Spanish consonants. Thank you.